Hello friends. Today we are working on derivational sort number 39. This sort deals with one Latin root, ter, and three Greek roots, aster, air, and hydra or hydro. Let's get started by looking at the Latin root ter. Ter means earth. So terrain refers to an area of land or its surface features. Let's find a couple other words with this Latin root. Terrarium is a small glass container that holds plants or animals in its own self-contained area. If you look at a terrarium, it often looks like a different land. The word territory refers to land that belongs to a group of people. One word with this Latin root is terrier. You might know a terrier as a small dog. However, you may not know that a terrier is used to hunt rats and other rodents and are willing to dig holes in the earth in order to catch them. Let's move on to our first Greek root, aster. Aster refers to stars, so astronomy is the study of stars and planets. You know that an astronaut is an explorer that goes up into space. You may not be familiar with the fact that the root not refers to sailing. So an astronaut is literally a star sailor. An asterisk is a small star that is often put next to different words. This symbol is used to show that something is special about the word or that there is a footnote or something else that the author wanted to tell you. You can find an example of this symbol above the 8 key on your keyboard. Aerial refers to flying through the air. While if you do aerobics, this means that you are doing exercises that require your body to use air in an efficient manner. Our last Greek root is hydra or hydro. Hydra or hydro refers to water. So if you are dehydrated, you are without water. A hydrant is a mechanism that supplies water. So a fire hydrant supplies water to firemen before a fire can be put out. Something that is hydraulic uses water in order to function, while a hydrofoil is a part on a boat that helps reduce the drag on the boat. Go ahead and sort the rest of your words. As you sort, see if you can figure out what some of the words mean based on their Latin and Greek roots. How did you do? Some of the words might still be tricky. For example, disaster. For the meaning of disaster, you actually have to look at the word astrology first. Astrology is the study of the stars. Throughout history, there have been groups of people who believe that you can study the stars to find the future. Therefore, if something was going to be a disaster, you would be able to see it in the stars. Another word that you might not be familiar with is subterranean. Sub means underneath, while we know that ter means relating to the earth. So if something is subterranean, it is underneath the main layer of the earth. As you sort your words this week, make sure you refer back to these Greek and Latin roots to determine the meaning.